The Indian Premier League is a massive cultural event that draws together millions of cricket fans each year. And when Reliance Industries Limited chairman Mukesh Ambani announced that Jio, the company's digital service platform, would be offering free IPL streaming, the decision drew the attention of the entire country, and there is a solid reason for this. The partnership between Jio and IPL is nothing short of a game changer, with Ambani's strategy using IPL media rights to market new products and services. In fact, this is not the first time that Ambani has provided free streaming. Rather, his master plan had been developing over the course of several years, including the recent broadcast of the FIFA World Cup and the partnership between Jio and Warner Bros. Let's take a more in-depth look at the ways in which Ambani is shaking up the streaming sector using his master tactics to be the king of the streaming world. Jio and IPL. On March 31, 2023, Mukesh Ambani, the chairman of Reliance Industries, took a daring move that shook up the Indian Premier League and the streaming industry. After spending a record of 23,000 crore for the streaming rights to the IPL, he decided to offer free streaming of the tournament on Jio Cinema. But this move wasn't simply an act of generosity. His move was strategic as he wanted to prioritize traffic-driven advertising revenue over paid subscription and disrupt the traditional broadcaster Star Sports that had held the television rights to IPL. Guess what? Ambani's plan has worked. The decision to make streaming on Jio Cinema free attracted a large number of new users and fans. Furthermore, as a result of Jio's cutting-edge technology and new features, viewers were able to watch their favorite teams and players compete without experiencing any issues. It is reported that Jio will be attracting more than 550 million subscribers all the way through the end of IPL 2023. And how does Jio try to recover the amount after making it free for the users? Well, it's simple. During the course of an IPL match, which typically lasts for 3 hours, commercials or ad breaks are shown after each over and on occasion for significantly longer stretches of time during key timeouts and innings break. Apart from that, Jio is promoting its own products. which may be considered a form of free marketing that it may use to their advantage in order to attract a larger audience to its overall business empire but before venturing into cricket they first jumped into the world of football in order to better prepare themselves for the challenge of broadcasting cricket matches this was carried out with the intention of eventually expanding their coverage to include other types of sporting events as a result jio was able to gain valuable insights into the market and prepare for the bigger challenge of streaming the ipl In October, Reliance announced that they will be streaming the games in the Jio Cinema app after owning the television broadcast and streaming rights to the FIFA World Cup football tournament. And guess what? Viacom 18 Sports struck gold with its plan to give the FIFA World Cup 2022 for free to all telecom subscribers. They did a fantastic job as the number of people watching the huge football event online skyrocketed and even surpassed the number of people watching the event on television in India for the very first time. That's really insane, isn't it? The final game between Argentina and France on December 18 drew a whopping 11 million viewers on Jio Cinema at the same time. Recently, Viacom 18 and Warner Bros entered into a multi-year arrangement that allows Viacom 18 to gain exclusive streaming rights for HBO content. This content includes TV shows produced by HBO Original, Max Original, and Warner Bros. The agreement is expected to deliver thousands of hours of content to Jio Cinema on its platform. As a result of this agreement, Jio Cinema will get the unique right to stream popular HBO titles which includes Game of Thrones, Game of Dragons, Succession and more. Both the Sports 18 TV station and Jio Cinema, which are both owned by Reliance, racked up a combined total of 40 billion minutes of total viewership for the event. And here's something else to keep in mind that throughout the entire event, Jio Cinema was the most downloaded free app on both iOS and Android. According to insiders, Viacom 18 Sports made a fortune off of the event by pulling in more than rupees 300 crore in advertising money. Even more impressive is the fact that they were able to strike integrated TV and digital sponsorship deals with over 50 firms across a wide variety of industries. On the other hand, Jio has upped the ante by providing a number of different camera perspective, one of which is Bird's eye camera view, which provides an experience that is comparable to being at the venue. The camera angles can be easily changed through the application and while there were some issues, they are expected to smooth out as the event goes on. And the cherry on the cake was multilingual commentary. While the users were used to hearing commentary in English and Hindi, Jio Cinema has spun it speaking a total of 12 other languages. 
and it's quite evident that Reliance is positioning itself as a major player in the streaming industry. When it comes to viewers, the fact that Jio Cinema has exclusive streaming rights to popular HBO content is sure to be a huge draw. With the success of this strategy, we can expect that Reliance will be active in the streaming market with a greater number of game-changing partnership and innovative tactics. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more amazing content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. We appreciate your support and can't wait to bring you more thrilling insights in the future. Thanks for watching.